I get really excited when my sisters come, especially now being like by myself here. I think it's fun when they all come back and then and then I'm like a scheduled person, so like I have to plan out what I want to do before they get here cuz I'm nervous. So like that day, like I got off work early, so I didn't have anything to do, so like I kind of sat in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> So then I went to get my nails done. I went to the hair store. This is the thing about Kennedy. She's going to call you a thousand times before you get here. Uh, <laughs> have y'all left yet? Oh, my um, <laughs> At 5 o'clock. Have you left yet? 5.05. Okay, well, I'm here. I'm just waiting. Wondering, have you left yet? So that looking forward to um, seeing her is fun. And so now that no Chandler friends. But when we got gone. here, was she here? No, she's no. never here she when was you at get Chick -fil -A. here. I was trying to find something to do until they got so there. So now we that understand your <laughs> motive. Run it over. <laughs> well, I was excited all week um, to get here. I pretty much I left on Saturday morning, but I packed on Tuesday. <laughs> I really, like me. I was really excited uh, to come home for Christmas because I really didn't get to stay. Um, as long Thanksgiving break, so I'm glad I get to stay for a long time for Christmas break. So I was excited to see everybody. 17 uh, in Alabama uh, with the Malones, the More Meets the Malones Part 2. For Carson being a little older, a little wiser, a little more talkative, and a little bit more whiny. You see? <laughs> But yeah, so Christmas uh, has been uh, a fun experience, uh, especially this year. You know, they finally took some wise counsel from someone from Tennessee, and we opened up gifts at 12 o'clock midnight, which is really good because for some reason, this family wants to go to bed at 12.01 and then wake up right at 5 o'clock to open gifts in like four hours. So, I mean, why not be efficient, open gifts at 12, and then you can sleep till like 7, 8, you know, get your hours in. <laughs> Um, so I really look forward to Christmas um, with my family just because of the traditions that we have. I mean, it's the small things like the dancing to the song for our gifts. <laughs> Boys are different. I remember myself opening a gift as if I was trying to save the paper. Um, no, he has a ripping sensation of opening gifts. So. But he still, when he tears it off, he hands yeah, each he piece hand to you. Piece. Mm -hmm. and you. Mm -hmm. what, what we decided to. To get him presents for his birthday, I thought we might have to give him some some musical stuff, and uh, so we came up with this idea to get a, a keyboard. And um, of course, we didn't come up with that idea. Brian came up with that idea. I just follow this lead. I'm used to girls. I know the girl thing, so I'm I'm taking a back seat with the boys. And um, he's been on it. He's been on it. I have to say. I don't know he's gonna like it that much, but he, he absolutely loves, loves it. it. So, for Christmas, I came up with the other idea of giving him a, a PA system. With cordless mics. <laughs> with cordless mics. And he fell in love with that, so um, it, it's just funny to see him. You know. See how small it is? This boy is going, this thing is going to the house. <laughs> Oh, Carson, you got two mics! All right, I'm going to start video. Here you go, Omar. You see how you cut it on? You bit it in, baby? Go, boy! Get away! I'm going to turn it on, Paul! All right, coming to the stage.
Anderson, Brian. It, it's just funny to see him, you know, in his zone. He loves it. And loves it. it. I think he got his first whip out there. <laughs> Kennedy is struggling um, <laughs> <laughs> with sharing the light with Carson. Carson's a new kid on the block. Um, Carson was opening his gift last night, and Kennedy was like, Whoa, 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 back here! <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's our last Christmas. <laughs> no, he was loud. He had the music up. Entirely too loud. They're not good friends. <laughs> Rowdy, and I was sick of it. So she's, she's learning so how to do it myself, and I whooped him. Part of mine is Thank you. Thank you. What's wrong, preacher? The thing about Carson, he's an ordained minister, but I'm not sure who ordained him. Oh, um, which church he's ordained? <laughs> Amen. He's been preaching from a young age at school. Um, he delivers a message every morning, is what his teachers say. So, not a, he likes to deliver a word, but he likes to dance while he's delivering a word. Praise him. Amen. So Kennedy is reaping what she has sown in previous years. Her and Petey would put on these shows that were ridiculously say, long. Say stupid shows. They were very stupid. <laughs> they were awful. The people love they still love me. Petey was always Look at the difference video. No. Got, are we in the description box below? <laughs> Petey was the interpretive dancer, and Kennedy always liked to sing, and they had these choreographed yes. moves. So now she sees. So what now it feels she like. sees what it's like to sit through this nonsense, right, this half right now. and just deal with it, and hope that it will end soon. <laughs> My well, I love Christmas, but it used to be like based off like if I had a good Christmas or not. It was based off of like how many gifts I got. I would count them sometimes, or like how good they were and stuff like that. I used to make like that was what like if I had a good Christmas that year, it'd be based off of like presents and stuff like that. But like of course I always had fun with like family or whatever, but it was based off that. But now like as I've gotten older, it's just like more. It's not really like gifts or whatever physical things really. I guess like I really did focus more on like family time and like in. Uh, like Javen's song, like blessed. Like I really understand now, like what it is. It's not really physical; it's spiritual. And I feel like I've grown in that aspect since like 17th birthday and up. So I feel like this Christmas is much <laughs> different. They don't think I'm a true. That was this this year. It's only been a couple months. I know what I'm saying. It took me that much, and I am more mature. <laughs> Christmas is a, <clears throat> a very fun time. I learned this early on. Um, I enjoyed watching others open gifts and being able to give back and because they stayed spoiled a little longer than I did. It's hard being the oldest. For all of those listening, you understand how it is to be the oldest. So you learn some lessons a little earlier than the spoiled ones. Um, but I like seeing the joy of that one thing, like you know somebody really want it, and it could cost like $10, but they really look forward to it. That joy um, brings me joy. Um, so I really look forward to Christmas um, with my family just because of the traditions that we have. I'm waking up early and then going to the Malone uh, family breakfast and then we usually go to the farm after that and then the Nana's. I mean it's the small things but when you get into that routine like I really look forward to it every year and just spending time with everybody 
um, and it's just really a blessing because I never realized it but a lot of families don't have that and some don't even celebrate Christmas which I mean to each its own but I'm just thankful that my family does and like Kenny said, it's not about the gifts, the reason why we love it so much, it's that family time and being able to give back to others as well is the reason why I really appreciate my parents for, you know, really making Christmas such a big deal because it's something we have to look forward to at the end of the year and those family traditions that we can carry on, you know, as we get older.